Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm happy to say I have a 4k giveaway. For entry details, check the description box below. Without further ado, what we're here for, the 360 Lace Frontal. How to make a wig look as natural as this. So stay tuned if you like what you see. So let's get right into hair details. This hair is from Miss Hair Virgin Hair Company. I'll put the information to where you can find them in my description box below, or you can click the link right here. Let's talk about texture. This is a body wave. Yes, honey, Brazilian body wave in 20 inches. Now when I say the quality of this hair um, um, package is amazing, get the luster and shine. And then on top of that, it's true to length. Like it's thick from the root to the end of the hair, which I freaking love. And no shedding whatsoever that I'm experiencing right now. So um, the frontal is also pretty nice. I'm going to show you what it looks like here. And yes, the 360 frontal is also a 20 inch and Brazilian body wave. For those of you who don't know what a 360 lace frontal is, I want to show you the construction of it and how um, it may benefit you. You're able to put your hair into a ponytail, like so once you make this into a unit. Um, and you can part it in many different ways. As you see here, you can part it any which way you want to. I did bleach the knots on this 360 frontal. If you like to see how I did it, just leave a comment below. If I get enough requests, I'll go ahead and release the video. Check out that hairline, y'all. We're going to do a little bit of tweezing to make that look a bit more natural. But before we do that, let's get the wig made first. So I'm going to use a spandex dome cap like this. I'll put the link below as to where you can find one. You're also going to need a canvas blockhead. This is for a 21 inch circumference. My mom is a 24 one inch circumference obviously so this matches her head size perfect which is a small um, and then you're gonna go ahead and place your lace 360 lace frontal onto your dome cap now the frontal is wet because it bleached the knots and I had to rinse off the bleach now I put it on the tightest notch the band part on the tightest notch because the frontal was a bit too big so I had to make it smaller once you place your 360 frontal on nice and snug, make sure you secure it down with some T-pins. Now you don't want this excess lace flapping around, so you need to go ahead and T-pin it down and make it as flat as possible. very important to go in and check to make sure you don't have any wrinkles within your frontal before you stitch it down. If you do see wrinkles, that means you didn't tack it down flat enough. So you have to go back in and do so. So once I'm done checking my 360 frontal um, and making sure everything is laying nice and flat, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next step. Not sure if you caught it, but that frontal is an inch above that band. Very important, ladies. And the back part is at the band line. Now that we took care of that part, it's time to stitch this thing down. So I'm doing blanket stitches all the way around the 360 frontal, making sure I do it right where the hair stops. Now 
I also wanted to mention if you do decide to buy the canvas blockhead, it does have a white cloth around it, but I cut it off so that when I'm stitching, I don't have to worry about sewing into the cloth, FYI. Quick slow-mo on how I tie my knots. I'll loop it one, two, three times, then pull through, and you have a secure knot. Okay, kings and queens, we have finally sewn down our 360 frontal, so let's move on to cutting off this excess lace because we don't need none of it, honey. Take it all off. Let's begin with our first 20 inch bundle in Brazilian body wave. Horizontal sections all the way around and I am gonna fold them and I'm going to double up so I get to the top. So I'm doubling my first bundle. Okay y'all, so it's time to fold these wefts. Now to make it really nice and flat, I fold the first one and then I go in and fold the other one an inch later. That way it lays really nice and flat. Now definitely use your sources and I do use my T-pins to hold down my weft as I'm sewing. This makes things a lot easier so don't be afraid to do so. So you, what you want to do is you go in and fold the first part of your weft and then you go in and merge it with your second part of your weft, making it doubled again. So an inch later, as you see here, I'm merging my bundles together, making them doubled again. So you're basically gonna repeat this process do the first and second bundle um, until you get to the top. Okay, we're gonna fast forward to our first bundle being sewn in. Oh, that beautiful luster yes and thickness Ooh, la la I cannot wait to see how it's gonna be curled but um so now it's time to sew in our second bundle but I'm just showing you guys here that when you do wear it you should be able to put it into a ponytail look at that and this is just me showing how flat it is and this is the photo of a method and you don't see any lumps or bumps so yes move it on to our second bundle applying the same process as the first.
Okay guys, finally we're at our last bundle. And what I'm gonna do is cut the rest of these tracks. I need it to be really nice and flat, so no more folding, go ahead and cut these wefts. I chose to single my weft, but you can double if you want to, but I prefer it to be singled. And this is the final result. Yes, honey, laid, laid, laid. Yes, yes, yes. Okay guys, it's about that time. Thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Up next, I'm going to show you how to install and prep your 360 frontal wig.